he just knows nothing about horses at all because anybody with the slightest bit of knowledge in the horse world knows how wrong it is to ride horses that you're far too big for. Hey, bitch, and welcome back to another video of me talking about people I hate especially this time. Today we're gonna to be talking about Dale Brisby. Now, this is a video that's been long awaited by you guys. I know you guys have sent me his videos over the last one to two years that he's been posting videos on YouTube. If you're unfamiliar with who Dale Brisby is, you're lucky, honestly. He's just a really annoying, bull rider who knows little to nothing about horses at all and posts horse videos quite regularly, unfortunately for everybody. Today's video is no different. Actually, this is the most egregious video that I think Dale has ever posted. And you know, to be honest, you guys, I have refrained from making a video about this guy for a long time. I know everybody's been asking me to, and I have seen some of his other content that he's put out there that's incredibly questionable, but I decided this guy doesn't really know much of anything and calling him out would essentially be like yelling at a kid who was never taught properly. So this is not going to be a hate video. I don't put out hate videos. This is going to be an educational commentary video. Everything that's being done wrong, not that it's really that crazy to call this out because this is a widely known thing in the equestrian community. It is heavily frowned upon to ride horses when you are more than 20% of their body weight, especially ponies. And for the life of me, I have no idea why adults think that it's funny or entertaining in any way to sit on a helpless pony when you're far too big and cause serious problems to their musculoskeletal structure and potential lifelong damage to them just because you want to get a laugh out of it. Like, why do you think that's funny? That really speaks to your own intelligence and emotional maturity level. Just because you manage to take basic care of an animal, like feed them, that doesn't mean that you're not abusing them. That doesn't mean that the animal's not being mistreated. So today's video is titled, We Try Using a Pony to Pick Up and Rope a Bull. Great. I want to point out that most of these guys are riding in shank tom thumb bits and also have no idea how to use those. Don't ride in tack if you don't know how to use it properly, if you don't know the functionality of your equipment. And this is why tom thumb bits have such a terrible reputation. It's because they fall in the hands of people like this. Moreover, there is absolutely no reason why he's riding this pony. No reason. He just chose to ride the pony because he knew it was going to get views and attention. Oh, Dale Brisby rides a pony to catch a bull. No way. All he does is post content for attention. None of this stuff is educational in any way. He's just posting anything he can that will get views. And this is what he thinks will get views this week is just abusing a pony. It just shows how little knowledge you have. So let's talk about why you should never ride ponies. This is the most common thing that I see people say. Ponies have thicker cannon bones and denser bones throughout their body so they can carry more weight than an average size horse. 
This is a common lie that I hear most people tell. So the reason why their bones are sized slightly differently is to compensate for their tiny legs carrying their body frame. It's not so that way they can carry excess weight. It's so that way they can carry their small condensed body frame. They have a lot of weight on tiny legs, which is why they have denser bones. It's not... And I repeat, it is not so that way they can carry additional weight. The denser bones are for their own body weight. This is something that's widely known. There's multiple vet studies on this. Ponies are no different from normal horses. And it's widely known that the max carry capacity for most horses, and this is only pertaining to horses that are healthy, because unhealthy and skinny horses can carry significantly less. But the max load on healthy horses is 20% of their body weight, including your tack. So it's not to say that nobody can ride ponies. It's to say that all horses that are healthy have a max load of 20%. He clearly weighs more than 20% of this horse's body weight, including the tack. Two people on the horse and they think it's funny. Like these are grown men who are laughing at this. They think that this is funny. It's like, how childish are you? I want you guys to see how bad of a rider this guy is. Literally, he's spurring the horse and pulling back on the horse's face at the same time right there. And people want to pretend like this guy knows what he's doing. I really like being able to work the back since <laughs> at eye level. Like just right here. <laughs> like no kidding. Like I was like, I just that's the easiest I've ever gotten the back cinch. I didn't even bend over really. Hey, Snack Pack's just out here picking up NFR ponies. All right, hang them high, peak car, 38. I mean, I would honestly expect nothing less from rodeo people. You know, what do you expect? Yeah! 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 <laughs> okay! He's literally half the size of this horse. And people think that this is just okay. It's not. You are 100% causing this horse problems. It's unbelievable that somebody with such a large platform would just be so careless with the content that he puts out. But speaking of needing to be a responsible equestrian, you guys should definitely check out today's sponsor, which is Animal Nutrition Calculator. If you're unfamiliar, Animal Nutrition Calculator has the most amazing animal nutrition calculators available on their website for just $3.99 to $4.99, which is cheaper than a cup of coffee. All of these calculators are one-time use and you have the ability to figure out all of your animals' exact nutritional or dietary requirements, making sure that you can take their nutrition into your own hands. Proper nutrition leads to proper health and a thriving, vibrant life for your animals. So no matter if you have a horse, a dog, a cat, small pets, fish, or birds, Animal Nutrition Calculator has you covered. I use Animal Nutrition Calculator for all of my animals, including my hamster. Commercial pet food brands are notorious about telling people to overfeed their animals or that certain brands are better than others. And it doesn't matter what you feed, you guys. No matter if it's kibble, canned, cooked, raw, whatever it is, Animal Nutrition Calculator will help you to feed them a balanced diet so you no longer have to rely on pet food brands to tell you what's nutritionally appropriate for your animals. So you guys, you can click my link down below to shop Animal Nutrition Calculator and the first 100 people to click my link get 25% off. So a massive thank you again to Animal Nutrition Calculator. Let's get into it. <laughs>
Look at how he just yanks on the horse's face right there. This guy has some of the worst riding equitation I've ever seen. I genuinely can't believe that people follow him. Cowboys win! Good cut, Dale Brisbane. Dude, that poor horse's mouth is going so crazy. It's so embarrassing. It's like, if you don't know how to use your tack, don't use it. Use a hackamore or a bozal. You know, this is so much worse than the standard riding miniature horse or pony video that I've reacted to because he's been riding this pony for hours. It's not something that he just did for a few minutes for a laugh, which would still be terrible. He's been riding this pony for hours. And I know so many people are gonna say, that pony wasn't hurt, it's well taken care of, whatever. It's not about what you see on the outside. This horse clearly has been conditioned to just put up with stuff like this. This is what's called learned helplessness. When you look at equine behavior, horses that are constantly put in similar situations will just inevitably put up with it in the end, even if they're consistently being abused. God, he's so bad at riding. The way that he holds the reins and just yanks the horse around, it's just so terrible to watch. I mean, it's just some of the worst riding I've ever seen. And I'm not even exaggerating. This is literally what it looks like when someone just gets on a horse and then just thinks because they can sit on them that they know how to ride. Uh, it's a great day ranching. Uh, it, we, we expected it to be light to moderate, so I started on a pony. Ended up being heavy ranching. Our half day horse made a full day horse. So this is Snack Pack. He's uh, for sale, not on sale. In case somebody wants to buy him, message. Oh, Radiator Ranch. Radiator Ranch, yep. Instagram. He belongs to a buddy of ours, uh, but he ain't cheap. So, which is fine, he can do it all. We roped a bull, we drug calves, gathered the big pen, and we picked up bucking horses. This is not a sales pitch. I don't care if you buy the horse or not. I wanted to try all these things on a pony and it worked out. Snack Pack was a great mount. He did a good job. Oh my God. The fact that he's trying to sell this horse as a ranch riding horse, please, dear God, no. Anybody who buys this horse, this should just be a child's horse. This should not be an adult riding horse. And please do not buy this horse thinking that it's okay to do what this guy just did. This is 100% animal abuse. This is damaging to this horse's health. This is damaging to the horse's hooves, musculoskeletal system. They way overworked this poor little horse. And this poor little horse just didn't even fight back. The horse looks like he's about to give up at the end of this video. Like, look at his face. This is just so inexcusable, it's beyond words. And normally I wouldn't care about what people post on the internet, but when it comes to just blatantly abusing animals, I have a serious problem. Now, Dale Brisby should honestly just stick to riding bulls, okay? Or at least if he is going to keep riding horses, he should educate himself a little bit more 
and learn a little bit more about proper writing. That's pretty much all I have for today's video, you guys. It's exhausting reacting to people that are this irresponsible. I mean, I wish him the best. I have no ill will towards Dale Brisby. I think he has every available opportunity to become a better person and really learn more about horses, especially if he's gonna be posting so many videos around them. But yeah, this deserves to be called out. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So a massive thank you again to Animal Nutrition Calculator for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget the first 100 people get a 25% off discount. I also post additional horse videos and training videos on my Patreon or members. So you guys can follow me over there, but I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.